take it or leave it. Too often, that's what the beef industry has implied to its customers. The middle meats, uh, talking about the strip loin, the, the tenderloin, the ribeye, um, traditionally have just been pulled out in a large piece and then you just start cutting steaks right down the right down uh, from one end to the other. But in an effort to retain and grow demand, a third option has emerged. Because of the size of these carcasses and the size of these animals, these muscles in, in those particular subprimals or these cuts have gotten larger and, and we're still selling by a by a, uh, a weight basis, an ounce basis. And so if somebody orders a smaller ounce portion, um, we're gonna have to cut that steak real thin using traditional methods. These alternative fabrication styles will give us uh, the ability to cut a thicker steak that looks better on the plate. Um, it also gives the chef a better opportunity to hit a medium to medium rare degree of doneness. So it gives them a little more flexibility. Um, helps maintain that flavor, juiciness, and tenderness, um, which is so critical for palatability. The flat iron is a popular example of these creative cuts, but there are many others just waiting for a little education to really take off. CAB um, takes the initiative as the marketing arm of the American Angus Association um, to go out and, and help people better understand what's going on with the beef industry. Um, in some ways, we do go out and talk to some of our licensed retail accounts and show them different fabrication styles. Same thing with the food service cut shops where they cut steaks for restaurants. Um, we help them understand the differences in the, in the different fabrication styles, the cutting styles, but that ultimately um, does still take a little more effort for us to go out and help educate the consumer and that's another thing that Certified Angst Beef does very well. Carcass weight trends continue to march upward, bringing along the continued need for beef cutting innovation and support. I'm Cindy Campbell.